Hey guys and welcome back to our the Popcorn. I'm Stephanie. Thank you for clicking on this video. Now if you're someone who enjoys talking about film, then consider hitting that subscribe button. I'm sure you're going to be hearing this in pretty much everybody's review or everybody's take on the movie. This is a different version of Crank starring Jason Statham that came out a couple years ago. Well, like more than a couple years ago. I like to think about it as this is Statham's like little sister over here. We have different situations, of course, in Crank. He has to have that electrical vault to kind of keep his heart going. But in this case, Kate Beckinsale has to have an electrical vault pulsing through her body whenever she, you know, kind of loses control, has a little bit of a, she has a little bit of an anger issue. I can't remember what the exact diagnosis that they gave her. Basically, if you like, just breathe the wrong way, just give her like the dirty look, you know, she's gonna like come at you, trying to murder you, trying to beat your ass up. She has serious like compulsive cortisone level apparently they keep saying that a lot throughout the movie just kind of really big anger issues and the only thing that really kind of helps is this electrical bolt that goes through her body that kind of like resets her calms her down for like honestly like a second or so so it is a very very crazy intense not really intense but it's a pretty crazy topic it's not unique obviously i mean it's unique in its own way because like i said it really reminds you of crank obviously but it's not as high intensity and like you know what that movie is <laughs> no like i said this is just like that's little sister i think that would be the best way to kind of put it it's more of a revenge type action flick now i love me some kate beckinsale that's my bitch that is my girl crush she cannot do any wrong i mean she can do a lot wrong don't get me wrong but i forgive her for it i mean we just know that kate beckinsale she's a great action star of course she plays celine in underworld could this be her next franchise in the making i mean i don't i don't know i'm about that but um, I will go ahead and jump way ahead of the beat here. Uh, because I do have a quite, quite a few reviews coming your way. So I'm trying to keep them all pretty short for you guys. Um, they do kind of put the ending of this movie. No, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll get to that here. Because I feel weird getting to it when I haven't even officially talked about the movie. We'll get to it. I'm getting ahead of myself. If you're new, there is no structure here, you guys. There is no structure. Now, Bolt is not this great summer flick, this awesome, like, action-packed movie. It's not the best written or directed or best special effects. Oh, my God, the fire here is just like, oh, my God. Like, they need to get fire straightened out or just not use it when they do explosions because that's, like, where it really kills it. There's um, another movie that I'm going to be talking about tomorrow that has the same issue. I'm like, everything works in the hip except for the fire situation. I'm like, Ugh. But no, it, it, it's none of that. But it's a fun action summer movie, you guys. Like, this is, yes, it's, it's a fun movie that I think if you know what you're getting into, you will enjoy. There's a lot of like, uh, kind of little moments. There's like this really wild moment where there's like a baby tossing scene. It's ridiculous. Like literally, you guys, like newborn babies. Like she's trying to get away and she's tossing the baby to Laverne Cox. Oh, Laverne Cox. She has something in this movie, all right. I don't, I don't know how I feel. I just, I can't wait to see her like in her own like lead role movie instead of being these really small side characters because she could do so much better than this and besides Lauren Cox being in the movie you guys we have a great cast I mean you saw my fact sheet at the beginning we got some Stanley Tucci oh, I love you Stanley Tucci I love everybody don't I yes but Stanley oh my god I just I adore him we have some Bobby Colabelle I don't know how to say it like I said earlier I think I did say it earlier it's not a movie that you should go in taking too serious that's pretty much where I'm gonna leave my take on Bolt it's a fun action movie that should not be taken too seriously that has a great cast it is a revenge story we see 
Kate Beckinsale just like kicking ass. Unfortunately, the script is not all that great. Some of the action sequences, some of the action fights are not that great either. But there's some that I was like, okay, you have fun. Like I said, you have fun with it. Before I do give you my score, if you haven't yet, go ahead and give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. It's gonna be a medium, but it's like on the smaller scale because it's just, it's not a great movie, but it's entertaining enough. If you're into these type of movies, I think you're going to enjoy it. Just again, don't take it too seriously. Like, just like chill. That is my take on Vault. If you've seen Vault, let me know down below. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? All right, guys. Until next time, I'll see you guys at concession.